Hey there. Well, this is not going to be a 60 frames per second video. It's getting dark. It's about 7.30. And I just wanted to still do a walk, so... But this time I wanted to talk about Apple a little bit. I think Tim Cook has destroyed Apple. He has destroyed Apple's reputation. Under Steve Jobs, Apple, you know, got known as a company that made high quality products that were innovative. Some of you may disagree with my assessment of that, but I think that Steve Jobs' version of Apple was innovative. Now that it's under Tim Cook, I mean, as I said in one of my comedy videos, they changed a really nice upgradable tower into this trash can looking thing that the only thing you can upgrade is the RAM. Um, in 2014, uh, Steve, uh, uh, Tim Cook's Apple changed all of the remaining, uh, except the Mac Pro, which they still haven't uh, changed since 2013 and still want to charge 2013's prices, where you can get a, <laughs> a, a, you can build a PC or get one that's pre-built for literally a quarter of the price. Um, wow, it's getting really dark, isn't it? <laughs> They changed all of their designs, so the memory, the RAM, is soldered onto the board. <laughs> you know, it's... And they haven't really had any innovations, really. They're acting like getting rid... They're, they're trying to pull this wool over the customers to say that getting rid of a headphone jack is an innovation. No, Apple, it's not. And Apple has worked very hard with under Tim Cook to make sure that the word upgrade no longer means the dictionary definition. Because the dictionary definition of upgrade, you know, I'm gonna I'm really gonna have to make this fuzzy looking. Sorry guys. All right, it's still too dark, but whatever. Um, instead of the dictionary definition, which basically means to, to <coughs> change out, wow, I just swallowed a fly. <coughs> Inhaled a fly. <coughs> <coughs> Oh, man. <laughs> Damn. <clears throat> Change it from the dictionary definition, which basically means that you can... You can buy something to make the product better after you've bought it. <clears throat> But, uh, no, he wants to change it so it's more of a BMW type of definition where, well, an upgrade is to buy a more expensive version of a product. It's just, it's kind of lame. I just, and their stuff is shown to not really be that high quality. I mean, look at the, the, uh, what is that? The iPhone 6 Plus, 6S Plus, the, or was it just the iPhone 6 Plus? Whatever, it's the one that, uh, had the problem with bending. 
yeah, um, you know, their products aren't even good quality anymore. And I find it odd that you know, Microsoft has been sued. Really, you're going to get... This camera is going to give me warnings that it's overheating and I've only been recording five minutes. Fuck you, camera. Seriously, fuck you. <laughs> Talking about quality. <laughs> I don't understand that about this, but whatever. Maybe it's because I have the ISO up. But, uh... It, Microsoft got sued a whole bunch of times over... Stuff like, oh, well, well, you didn't make it so you can uninstall Internet Explorer. They're getting sued over stupid shit like that. And yet Apple can... Apple can do all this proprietary shit and no one... No one bats an eye. Well, it's Apple. <laughs> I just don't get that shit. I don't. But, uh... All right, which way? Well, that just leads back to the street, so I guess I gotta go this way, where you can't really see anything. Let me, uh, let me make this point up a little bit more. That's not that far, come on. <clears throat> How's that? Well, not enough to see anything, so... Oh well. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but it reminds me of the subject of, you know, large YouTube channels being held to a different standard than small YouTube channels. And I just, I, you know, Microsoft is a company that my, Windows is on more machines than any other OS. So they're going to be held to different standards based off of that. And I think the same thing, that it's, it's for that kind of reason that we have different standards for YouTubers. Is it right? Maybe not. But it is the way that it is. You know, more influence uh, means a different kind of responsibility. So... But still, you know, uh... Why hasn't Apple been held to even a tenth of the standards that Microsoft has? Not even a tenth. I wonder how much horse shit I've stepped in. Um, you know, it'd be nice if more people were holding Apple's feet to the fire a little bit, but they're not because Apple products are a status symbol. They're not as much anymore. I mean, they've always been a bit of a status symbol, but now that's almost all they're about. It has nothing to do with innovation. It has nothing to do with quality. It's all about it being a status symbol. Look at me. Look how much money I have. Look at my BMW. Look at my Mercedes. You know, aren't you impressed? Don't say bad things about BMW or Mercedes. <laughs> Don't say anything bad about Harley Davidson. <laughs> that one I always thought was funny too, you know. Harleys. Yeah, they run inefficiently and that's part of the way they sound, but let's spend this premium price because, look, it's got the Harley name on it. <laughs> I, I just think it's weird. Um, yeah, they have a certain look, but other companies could have that same look too, but... You know, Harley! Alright, <laughs> great. 
Um, so, I don't know. But I definitely think that Tim Cook has destroyed Apple, and if they continue these methods, it's only going to be a matter of time that Apple will truly start to get demonized and they're going to go down. Unless... Unless they change into a decent company again.